Etude number five is about retakes. In the first half, that's all in A minor, the retake comes in the second measure. And I think you need to do this as we've done with some other retakes, where you very subtle but very quick get to the second note, nice flat shape to the retake. Look at etude number three to see a close up of how to do retake practice. Always playing the note before the retake as long as you can stand it so you get a beautiful sound and no one's really aware that you're doing the retake. The point of the retake is not to be flashy and visual. The point is just a bowing or a sound that we get from this bowing. As you look down in this etude, a lot of times you are not on the beat. So I think it's important to show when you finally do arrive on the beat and to have this feeling of leading up to it as if this is all a pickup, for instance, to measure three, where you finally play on beat one again. that. 
I felt like it was perfectly fine to play that scale with a, a backwards bowing, so everything that was on the beat was up bow. The alternative is play the third measure from the end, down, new down bow starting the eighth notes. Then when you get to the next measure, we'll do the hook and it would look like this. They're just two different choices. I felt like I could make a crescendo better if I just kept it as it comes, three before the end. You make a decision about how you want to do that. 